When you're ready to make a painting, go ahead and check the painting menu above the sink. After putting on your art shirt, go ahead and grab a water cup next to the sink. I like to turn the water on slowly so I don't get splashed and I only fill my water containers about halfway to the top. This helps minimize any spills as I'm carrying my container to and from the sink. I like to go to that almost invisible line where the color changes inside the cup and then I turn the water off. Remember, only fill your water cup halfway to avoid spills. When it comes time to pick a color mixing palette, you have a couple choices. You could use one of the watercolor lid containers, great for watercolors, or one of the round mixing palettes that has little indented wells, perfect for holding chunky temper paint. As far as paint goes, we have a couple choices. We have watercolor trays in single and double stack trays. We have tempera cakes, which have a lid included. This just helps keep the container from sticking together. And wet tempera paint. These tempera paints are divided up into ice cube trays. You can take one or two per table, and they have a special lid that helps keep all the colors separate. The lids sometimes stick, so watch out for that. And when you carry it back and forth from your table, make sure you're not tilting it too much because the colors will blur together. Over here I have some texture materials, rollers, straws, and messy mats, perfect for protecting your table spot and minimizing the amount of time you have to spend cleaning. When picking a brush, you can choose between the jumbo size, large, medium, and small or detail brushes. Your painting setup should look something like mine. You need a painting water container. Remember, we only fill this halfway just to minimize all the spills. A paper towel to help clean your paintbrush and or dab away extra water. Painting paper, a messy mat, and one to two brushes. I like to have a large and a detail brush for a variety. You need a paint palette and your tray of paints. It's important not to muddy and mix the colors that we share with others. Make sure that you put colors onto your palette first before mixing. In between colors, I clean my brush so that the shared paint stays clean, and I do all my mixing in the center of my palette so that I have good colors to come back to when I'm ready to paint. When it's time to clean up, double check that your name is on the back of your painting. Grabbing your painting and your messy mat, walk them both to the drying rack and set them on the shelf. There should be a teacher label on the drying rack. If it's missing, it's located inside your class drawer. Don't forget that label, it'll help Mrs. Norell know where to put your paintings at the end of the day. Before I put away my paint, I want to make sure that the tray is nice and clean for the next class. Taking a paper towel and a little bit of water, I'm going to wipe away the edges, making sure that none of the paint has traveled into the next well next to it. So for example, I don't want any yellow in the red or red in the white. Once I'm satisfied that it's clean, I'm going to put the lid on top, snapping it into place. When you pick up these trays, make sure you're careful not to tilt it to the side as you walk. The colors will bleed into the next color. I'm also going to make sure I put the temper paints back with the other temper paints. Don't put watercolors with temper paints and temper paints with watercolors. When I take my palette to the sink, I'm going to turn the water on nice and slow. Again, I don't want to get splashed. And I'm going to rinse out each of the wells and the mixing center until the water runs clear. Right now the water is still a little bit red and yellow, but as I wash, it's going to turn more and more clear until it's clean. Tapping that palette on the side of the sink, I'm going to carefully return it to the rest of the palettes and leave that nice and organized. Cleaning your brush is a two-handed job. Holding the brush with one hand, I like to paint across the palm of my other hand under the running water until the brush runs clean. Gently tapping it on the side of the sink to get out extra water, I'm then going to set it in the blue draining tray. You want to make sure that all of the bristles are facing towards the sink. There's two little holes on that side, and gravity is going to pull all the extra water out of the brush so that it doesn't cause long-term damage to my bristles. After I dump out my paint water, I'm going to rinse it really quick to get any leftover paint out, tap it, and replace it with the rest of the stack. I'm going to double check the counter and make sure the counter is clean. When I spray my table, I don't want to spritz other people, so I'm going to tighten that nozzle so that it makes a nice misty spray, spray one or two times, and wipe my spot. Once my table is clean, 
I'm going to toss my trash, take the spray and put it back with the paper towels and put my paint shirt back into the paint shirt bin. If your class brought your paint shirts this week, don't forget to take your own paint shirt back with you to class. Thank you for taking ownership of your art room by leaving the paint studio cleaner than when you found it. I can't wait to see what you guys make in our painting center.